This morning, a critical tool hurricane forecasters use to keep you safe is about to disappear. Yeah, the Defense Department is cutting off access to military satellite data that helps track storms, and the timing for us in Florida is not actually good. You know, we're here in hurricane season. 10 Tampa Bay's Nick Volturo joining us live in St. Pete with why this is taking away a key tool we all need to see what is coming our way, Nick. Jameson, Sarah, good morning. And the reason this is so concerning is it's happening right as we're entering the peak of hurricane season. And one of the things that really needs to be mentioned is these aren't even just your everyday average satellites. They are the only satellites that are able to see through clouds and spot when a storm is about to explode in strength. And these swirling colors that you're seeing right now on your screen, they aren't just for show, they're microwave scans from military satellites that can see inside a hurricane. But in just weeks, that critical data stream will be shut off. The Defense Department is terminating the system that processes and transmits this information right as storm activity starts to ramp up. The forecasters at the National Hurricane Center are very experienced in dealing with whatever data that they can get, but the loss of the SSMIS data will make it difficult for them to, you know, understand exactly where the center of the hurricane is and to properly uh, forecast whether the hurricane is going to intensify. Now, this is what that means for you. So without those satellites, it could be hours, days, weeks, before forecasters are able to see just how much a storm is going to intensify. Now, NOAA says this is really all about cybersecurity and protecting against cybersecurity threats and attacks, but forecasters admit that the timing couldn't be worse. All right, thank you, Nick. Well, a question for you, is there any backup plan to replace this data? Well, absolutely, Sarah, and here's the thing. Now, they are working on a plan that would send the information directly to NOAA so the Department of Defense could send that information or relay it directly to NOAA. But the problem with that is it's going to take some time, and they don't expect that could be done till maybe months or at least 2026. So as far as this hurricane season is concerned, they're going to have to rely on that information and forecasters are just going to be without that vital tool that they've been able to use in the past to detect just how much those hurricanes could intensify as that storm progresses. For right now, reporting live in St. Pete, Nick Volturo, 10 Tampa Bay. Nick